Welcome back to more Sip to Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And as we take our look around the preseason and work our way through games, I got to Joe Alt, and he was one of the top draft picks, and he was one of the top offensive linemen, if not the best offensive lineman in this draft class. And he made his debut um, this weekend versus the Seattle Seahawks with the Los Angeles Chargers. Played in 21 snaps. And, uh, you know, PFF does their preseason grading as well as regular season grading also. So I kind of pulled some numbers about that also. So he kind of graded out uh, offensively as a whole at 66.3 with his 21 snaps. Uh, pass blocking was 55.5 and run blocking was 71%. So what we're going to do is take a look at Joe Alt's 21 snaps and um, kind of see if the PFF grades kind of match out with what we think he does. Now, I got a timer set because I don't want to spend a whole, whole, whole lot of time on it. So I'm going to have a timer set at 12 minutes. And whenever we get to those 12 minutes, because I can get talking old line and it can be 25, 35, 45, 55 minutes. But we're going to set it for 12 minutes. And when that 12 minutes is up, we're going to kind of wrap it up. So whatever we can get to in 12 minutes, that's what we're going to do for Joe Alt. Roll the intro. All right, let's dive right into this Joe Alt film. He's playing right guard for the Chargers versus the Seattle Seahawks. And right now they got, um, I think that's Boye Mafe over him. And he couldn't have been drafted into a better situation because Greg Roman's going to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, and pass it when he have to. This is him. At right tackle, I'll mark him this first time and then just run the tape from here on out. That's him there. Got a little double team with the tight end. Works, tries to work his way off. Comes off a little bit. First little, first little action. He's on the left side of your screen now. Same play. Him trying to trying to get his eye on that backside backer because that's who he want to get the forty eight. He want to combo, want to work that double team and get the forty eight. So that's what he's trying to do. So that's why he comes off. So Williams don't really knock him off. He's trying to come off to get the forty eight. His end goal is to get the forty eight. He needs to stay there more though to make sure the tight end because I mean that's a tight end versus. Leonard Williams, you want to make sure that when Leonard Williams is taken care of before you come off the 48. But I do understand where he's trying to get to. Let's go to the second play. And again, for a tackle that played at Notre Dame and all that running that they do, for him to be drafted to a Greg Roman team, like I said, it couldn't be a better fit for him. Now, I don't know if it's going to translate into wins, but for him individually, perfect. Another down. I like the way he rooted him out of there. I love that. Because he like the, the defender really gets his hips in the gap. This is how the defender turn his hips. And that's really, as a defender, what you want to do, you want to try to split that. Watch him try to root that guy up out of there with, you know, just constantly pow, 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 try to root him up out of there and don't let him split it. See, forcing the body there, forcing the body. Now they got him standing up. They done rooted him out of there together. Now they're moving him. And now they're moving him. It's a great job of rooting him out of there and now getting movement on him. Don't let him split you. Get your leverage back. Now you start to move him. Now you start to move him. Great job of sticking and staying by both of them. The guard ain't out. It's a great job. Is that Pippins? I think that's Pippins, yeah. It's a great job of working together. And he, he eventually comes off. Not out, but the guard. It's a great rep right there by Alt. Great rep. I see you, young fella. And again, these these offensive linemen these days ain't ain't they ain't fat, bro. They just big. They just big. Watch the leverage of um the defensive player. See, he's lowering in the gap. That's where he wanna be. Now, we're going to go a little further and watch you see him eventually stand him up. Now, they got him stood up. Now, watch this. You're going to start moving him now that they got him stood up. Now, you just get on up out of here, cuz. Now, 
Another good rep. Play three. Third and three. A little pass pro against Boye Mafi. Mafi, Mafe, how you say it? Great posture right here. Shoot the hands. My fake gets that first hand. With the little swipe, arm over swipe. And I would I would say this is a win for Mafe, but Alt doesn't give up on it and just runs him past the quarterback. So technically, it's not a win for Mafe. It's more like a, a neutral thing because Mafe has the great move and, and does what he needs to do to try to get by. But because it's a quick game route and Easton Stick just kind of catches and releases, he doesn't really have a drop back in it. The ball's out. So it's really a stalemate. If there was some kind of uh, three to five step drop, he probably would have been right in the path of Boye Mafe. So that's kind of, you know, good that, that Joe Alt knows that and he can just run him by. Let's fast forward so we can try to get to another rep. All right, first and 10 here. I think this is, this is another drive, maybe the second drive. Try that play action where he's down blocking. A little boot action. Guys, and what this is, is if this guy steps in his gap, you just take him and watch him down and make sure he don't cross your face. That's all that is. Guy stepped in that gap. I'm just going to take him and watch him down. Just make sure he don't cross my face. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. Do your job. Job well done on that one. And again, all his reps are not going to be like him dogging people and whatnot because it's not required. It's not required. Because this guy made it easy for him by blocking down. I mean, by uh, shooting that inside gap. He made it real easy for him. Me and Tyreek Woolen fast. All right, what's this? Second and 10. Interesting rep right here. And this is, I watched this play earlier. This is an interesting rep for, for, for um, Joe Alt. Uh, so they running outside zone to the left. Now, this guy right here, they, they supposed to combo this guy and, and pick off the next person that shows up. But what's going to happen is, He's really going to take him by himself and don't give Alt a half a man to work with. Alt's going to make the decision to go around him. And, and in my opinion, it's the proper decision to make. And so let's just get through that part first. So he doesn't have a half a man for him, for him to block, so he makes the quick decision. I'm going to just go around and pick up the next man. Well, in doing so, you now have to take over his responsibility. So that would be the next person to shoot that gap, which to me would be this person. And, you know, if, if I'm wrong, you know, correct me in the chat box. Or in the comment section, since we're not live. And my thing is, why would you look back, or better yet, let a different color cross your face? That's my issue. Because you got a whole different color right here. Why would you let that cross your face? Because I'm thinking... If he goes and blocks that, because 79 is doing a great job with that dude, uh, this bat hits that right there. Now, maybe zero or two crashes and tackles him, but they got that taken care of. He doesn't try to reach back to make an impossible block. He can go take care of that. And the only free guy is this dude. And maybe 34 runs through an arm tackle. Maybe. Now you see my thinking on that? So if all comes around this dude, if he comes around him and takes that guy, 77 takes that, the only free person is zero, and 34 one-on-one, -on -one, that's a one-on-one -on -one matchup for 34, which is the bat. But that's just my thinking. 
Let's keep rolling. You see where I'm coming from? Because you can tell by the pause right here. And I said I was going to keep rolling, but now I'm talking about it again. <laughs> you can tell by the pause that, that I was supposed to go there. But he pauses. He sees that this dude is doing a great job and got him covered up completely. Then he decides to go around. Watch the pause. I'm going to play it like regular speed. And you'll see him pause, then decide to go around. Watch. Pause. Right there. Then decide to go around. He should have just kept on that track. If he keeps on that track, he'll run right into the other guy and the bag will fit right off of him. 13 here. Probably gonna get a pass rep. Okay, that's an interesting rep right there. I feel like he won and lost that rep at the same time. Let's say he adjusted. Say he started off losing and he adjusted. Let's say that. Started off losing, then adjusted. Loss. All right, let's see. Let's break it down. So this guy, now the reason these dudes get way out there is to get leverage, to get a, get a running start, and when they make contact, to have enough power to kind of push these guys back, which is exactly what happened to Mr. Alt in this situation. Came off the edge, now he's at full speed, and he's just going to go down the center of the rookie. Basically, he's testing your oil to see if your nuts can drop. That's what's happening right here. He's like, I'm going I'm to run through you and see if you got the willpower to, to block me. That's, that's all he is. He's testing your oil right here. And, you know, he kind of runs through him a little bit. But, 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 at some, at some point during this bull rush, your hip, your hip level, your pad level, your hip level has to go down. And when it goes down, that's how you can kind of stop the bull rush. If you got enough power in it, you drop your hips, you sink your butt, and you kind of anchor, and you stop the bull rush. Now, his pad level never drops. It never drops. He kind of ends to the point where he stands straight up, but he keeps the guy off the, Well, he don't keep him off the quarterback. I was wrong. He don't keep him off the quarterback. So this is a win for 10. This is a win for 10. That this right here hitting the quarterback while he's doing that, that's an AC joint, shoulder sprain. That's something bound to happen right there. That that's not good. That's not good. So this is a win for the defender. But on this play right here, the defender just say, I'm, I'm gonna test your oil and see if you can block me. I ain't finna give you no move. I'm just finna run right through your chest and see what you can do about it. That's what that is. So you look at it, he, he didn't give no move. I'm, just finna get as fast as I can, as powerful as I can from this age, and see what you're gonna do about it. And in this rep, nothing. Not saying Joe can't do it, but just in that rep, he didn't. That's all I'm saying. First and ten, so this will be the third series. And they're backed up to the goal line. If I'm not mistaken, they went three and out each each um series. Oh, they brought everything. They're trying to get that safety. Trying to get that safety on the charges. Let's see what we got. Oh, I love it. Look at the flat back. Watch the flat back on contact. That's, man. Hey, if you, you coach O-line or you love O-line play, this right here is a thing of beauty. Flat back, good leverage. And now the only thing missing is to pop them feet and move that man up out of there. Let's see if he can do that. Uh, where the defender kind of stands him up. Defender stands him up. So initially, technique sound. Technique sound. Now what I would say that's happened right here is the defender got a little bit better leverage on him. A little bit better leverage on him. And stood him up. But look at the finish. When the defender, you know, tried to get away from him, watch the, I love the finish though by Alt. I love the finish by Alt. I love it. I love the finish by Alt. And speaking of finish, that's we gonna that's what we're gonna finish at with Joe Alt on this good play right here for him. Um, if you have not, uh, 
Hit the subscribe button, please do so. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when we drop the rest of these videos as we peruse through the preseason and check out these high draft picks. Uh, hit that like button also. It helps the channel as we're on our way to 1,000 subs. So I appreciate you guys for coming out. This is Joe Alt uh, in his first preseason reps. And again, I said I was going to keep you too long, and that I have not done. This is Coach Evans with more Sip the Tally, and I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Peace and love. Peace.